All right, guys. So I never thought that I would be jumping into this space because I really have no interest. But I uh, like a couple of months ago, I don't know, maybe a month ago, whenever the Starfield showcase came out, I reacted to that on my live stream and I got a lot of different comments. And a few of those comments were about my take on one of the main side characters. Um, it's kind of interesting that she's the main side character. But anyway, one of the main side characters was an ex-soldier who was the leader of an exploration group. And I went and said that that's not very believable because women typically don't do combat. And people got in my comments and they said that I was being misogynistic and that women do do combat in the military. I don't think many people know that I'm a 13 year veteran being in the military. I was in the Navy for 13 years and I don't think many people know or understand that. And I'm not just saying these things because it's a popular thing to say right now. I'm saying these things because I, have been in training with women going through like I went through ECS training twice and in both times of doing that the things that I witnessed women do I'm not saying all women were like this right but they were had they had a reluctancy to firearms they were typically less coordinated when it came to doing uh, movements where we have to move to different covers and, and take uh, take fire and, and different things like that. I, I said what I said. And also, if you go on YouTube and this website that we're reacting to right now, and you watch combat videos from the Iraq and Afghanistan war, you're not going to see any women, right? And I like to listen and pay attention when I'm being given information. And the information that they gave right was that she was an ex-soldier and when you think about soldiers in combat you don't think about being a pilot you don't think about any of the other stuff you think about ground combat right this is what i think about so with all that being said i decided to do this to show people that there is a clear difference between men and women and there's even you know some military stuff in here too and Another quick background is when I was in Okinawa, uh, sometimes I would go to the gyms in the morning, like early morning, and you would have the Marines there doing their Mi'kmaq stuff. And their Mi'kmaq stuff now is more like them just doing jiu-jitsu with their, with their mar pads on, right? And let me tell you, even the skinniest Marines with zero technique manhandled all the women. Even if the woman had better technique, because there were some girls that had some very good jiu-jitsu technique, it's just the guys were physically stronger and like there was nothing that they could do. You know what I mean? Because if you think that strength is not a point in jujitsu, we'll just look at everyone in jujitsu is on steroids. So strength does matter in that sport. I've been yapping for a long time and let's go ahead and get into this reaction. Men versus women in sports one by poor man's podcast. And if you haven't already help that brother out, like comment, subscribe to his channel. I'm saying pay these women. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> As she makes, she's gonna go elegant about it. You need to be paid because you command the same respect. The game is just as good. And then they is it though? Shit! I've seen this clip. Let's make it lit up. Get out of here, son. I've seen this happen in Okinawa too. Out there by the gym. Yeah, I've seen this shit happen too. This shit. <laughs> Boy hit her like the with the hit with that Madden hit stick, man. Came at her crazy. Men always say how women's soccer sucks. Then come to the field and try with us. Uh, uh, got her nasty with it. Nasty with it. These guys are sixty. Ooh, got him on the ground. First of all, have you ever seen Floyd Mayweather is about this tall? Okay. Dude, when people were talking about 
Floyd Mayweather beating or Ronda Rousey beating Floyd Mayweather, I was just like, are you guys crazy? Like her striking was never that good, <laughs> you know? I'm not saying that I was like the first person to figure out that her striking is not good, but I saw her striking and was like, uh, Floyd Mayweather is like a legit boxer. Maybe there'd be some differences in the grappling because he's not a grappler, but he's still a grown ass man. If he punches her, she's going to go down. And we saw what happened when, when Amanda Nunes put them paws on her. When Holly Holm put that sheen across her face, you know what I'm saying? So let's not play games here, people. And she would ragdoll him as soon as she put her hands on him. Under Rousey, who would ragdoll Floyd Mayweather, was destroyed by a five foot seven and a half, 134 pound woman this weekend. Serena Williams is not beating a single man. Not, there's not a guy in the country in the ATP top 100 that's not beating Serena soundly. Start exactly. With the room. That's right. Why was it necessary? I think you're referring to the fact that I said she'd be about 700 in the world. Yeah. Right. What, what, what do you think, Charlie? You're a tennis guy. You yeah, like to play tennis. I, I see you on the tennis court. Right. What do you think that Serena Williams would be ranked if she played have, in the men's game? I have game? no idea. Well, you, if, if you had a guess. Well, she seemed pretty strong to me. I mean, Very strong. The greatest female played, player ever. I, okay, we can't. Nobody can prove this. Here's what you Would you like to apologize? Uh, no. The audacity. It's like, would you like to apologize? Like, I said what I said. I said what I said. And it, I'm, the, I'm the same thing with, 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 uh, with Roger here. Like, I said what I said. In regards to women in, in combat, I like, dude, like, show me videos of women in combat on YouTube. Show me videos of women on on fobs in in the mountains of Afghanistan getting shot at. Like, show that shit to me. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that women don't do badass things in the military because they do. There was the there was that woman pilot that landed that that plane that got shot up with like essentially one wing. That was badass. Right. But we're not talking about the same kind of thing. Right. Because there are men and women pilots. But when it comes to the ground combat stuff, it's always guys. And that's what I was getting at. That was the point I was trying to make. And then people are like, oh, you're misogynistic. Women do things, too. I'm just like, of course they do. But they don't do this. In fact. You know, in the military, most men don't even see combat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a small percentage of men in the military that actually see combat. So, when you, when, you, when you hear people talking about combat in the military, just keep that in mind. You know? I think even Americans, the civilians, like, have a very large misconception about the military. They think that uh, everyone sees combat, and that's just simply not true. And I'll talk about some other things um, later on. But I, 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 offer. I, the, the offer is this. Why don't you combine, just solve the problem? I'm sure the men would be all for this. The men and women play together. And then we don't have to guess. Oh, my God. Could be near a 20. Mm. Mm. I think, like, to make this shit, like, a little bit more fair... Like, the men have to serve to the men, and the women have to serve to the women. Like, a man serving to a woman, that just seems, like, very unfair. The enemy doesn't exactly. care gender you are. 21, come out here. Number 16, Steph. Number 16, step forward. Go and glove up. He's the first female recruit to pick a man. Number 16. Nathaniel. I think she picked, like, the smallest man. Brace up. Thinking she could, thinking she could beat him. He gonna put them paws on her. Oh, look at that jab. He's already trying to break him up. She got the armpit sweat. And his technique is not even that good. And he's piecing her up. Just wrestling. I've seen this clip too. This is an old one.
I don't know what they're trying to do. Like, this is how you know, like, they're not that smart, right? Like, she's trying to go for his upper body, and she's trying to go for his upper body. If she went for, like, a leg lock, a heel hook, a knee bar, anything to secure his legs, that's the mistake they made. But they're so concerned with controlling his upper body. And because they didn't go for his legs, this is the reason, the reason why he won. You know what I'm saying? Any... They they must be white belts. They must be new, because I think if it was two on one with any other woman high high level uh, jujitsu player, they probably would have submitted him. They probably would have gone for his legs. Because if you go for his legs, it's gonna force him to sit up. You force him to sit up, and then you can like get on his back. But they're so concerned with trying to control his upper body, which is so weird and dumb to me. Like, look at this. Like, they're both going for his neck. Like, why are they not going for his legs? Wow. She's still trying to go for that choke. She doesn't have it. She needs to abandon that. Even here, from this position, well, she's. I don't think she's on the right side, but if she had her brace on the other side, she could have went for an arm bar on his, on his right side. You know what I mean? Just This is just bad jiu-jitsu. They just suck. Arm bar. Arm bar. Too easy. I hope they taught you how to knock down doors. Definitely. In you go. Oh no! As high as you can. As high as you can. As high as you can. Take a bigger run up. She's a hard lady. This could be your family in there. Big run as fast as you can. That and high. So high. Oh, high. So as fast as you can. Well done. Yeah, 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 no. You can tell this woman does not train. She's weak, bro. A woman can actually fail the physical component of the fireman test and still become a firewoman to meet female quotas. Firewomen are paid exactly the same as firemen, who are more mm. physically able and better suited to the job. Mm. I made this video to demonstrate that men and women are not the Talk same. To him. We are equal, but we are not the same. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 1 can also equal 4, meaning we can be equal without being the same. Not only are we different physically, as Talk demonstrated in this video, we are also different hormonally. We have different strengths and weaknesses that complement each other in the balance of life. There cannot be Talk light without darkness. There is always a balance of life. There cannot be life without death. There is always a balance of life. And the balance between men and women is true. Any time in history when authoritarian mm. groups try to take over, the first thing they take is your freedom of speech. Why? Because when you are not allowed to speak freely, you are not allowed to criticize their crazy ideas. Don't let anybody bully you into telling a lie. There is nothing virtuous about lying to people just to make them feel better. It takes no, courage not. in 2021 to stand up and tell the truth. And it is even in 2023, bro. Like like I said, I I made an observation about a fiction a fictional story not being believable that's what i said and this is the last point i want to make and i want to give a big shout out to pmp actually i don't need to give a big shout out to pmp because he's killing it right now on youtube however this is one of the things that's not talked about and this is one of the things that's not very known by civilians and that is when when we get operational, meaning we are getting ready to deploy, women will purposely get pregnant. And I've seen this on two, on two occasions. When I was on the ship, I had just got there and the ship was going through its, its maintenance cycle. 
and the the girl that was supposed to be my counterpart told me that she didn't want to go on deployment on the ship so she was getting pregnant and i needed to be prepared to work in that office by myself this is what she told me this, these were her exact words and so a few weeks later she was pregnant and I was there by myself, absorbing the entire workload by myself. And it took months, months, like eight or nine months to get more bodies in to where we were, we had enough people to, to make our shop fully functional. You know what I mean? There was another time where I was on shore duty in the Navy. And one of the chiefs that I worked with was pregnant. And she was coming off of her pregnancy orders, right? And the orders that were available for her were all to a ship and she did not want to go to a ship. So she got pregnant again so that she did not have to go to a ship. This is what we deal with as men in the military. And these are the things that are not talked about, you know, and then people want to go and make stories about women doing great things and they do do great things. But it's also right to call it out when it's not believable. And to be honest, it's not going to keep from playing Starfield. I'm just saying that a woman soldier being a leader in an exploration group, is just not believable. And that's all it is. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more of this, comment down below and I'll make more. Peace.